Hey, what is up, guys? It is Kev5 here, bringing you a brand new video. Why am I bringing this? Well, you guys have hit me to 2,000 subscribers. I cannot show my appreciation enough. As some of you may know, not most of you don't. Some of you know my original viewers. I did have an original channel before this called Skilled Kevin25. Uh, one day one of my friends decided to log into my account. I actually I forgot to log out of it at his house. Uh, my mistake. I, I learned from that. Never log into another person's computer again on YouTube. He up and deleted all my videos. So I decided that I was going to try to redo all the work that I had done before. I couldn't get my most of my videos back. I only got about five. So I was I decided I would create a new channel with my new lifestyle of managing servers, uh, help people out and at the same time see if I can personally grow myself back to the point I was before. And so far everything is going amazing. I can't tell you guys enough how much I appreciate 2000 subscribers. I never thought I'd hit it like this and it's it's amazing. It's great. I really truly appreciate it. So before we get started on this beautiful group manager tutorial, which I know you guys are all excited for, I just want to prove that we are on 1.9. So as you can see, 1.9, all the new stuff. Also, I'm going to go into group manager, and I'm going to look up the purr purr. Purr purr is a new block in 1.9. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to use this block if I was in 1.8, but looky there, I can place it down with my uh, like super haste. That's why my hand doesn't move. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to know about Group Manager. You need to ensure you install Essentials X, Vault, and Group Manager. Links in the description below. You must install the very specific version of Group Manager I provided in the description below. If you do not, there's a 99.99999% chance that Group Manager will not work. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see when I type in chat, I am currently in a group called Recruit, and I am in a subgroup called Niad. Uh, if you want to change your group, say you've already gotten groups set up, you do Menu Add Player, so me, and Group. The next group up, in my case, is Soldier. Now if I do Test, it has changed me to the group Soldier. I'll have new permissions, whatever you set up in Soldier. So to create a group, it's called Mang Add Group. Let's create a test group. Let's call it YouTube, if there isn't already one. Okay. So now we're gonna set a prefix to YouTube before we add it ourselves to it, which is Menu Add Menu Add V YouTube prefix, and then whatever prefix we want. So let's do F, which uh, that's white. Then we're gonna do for you. Um, F2 and then F and then I like to do that if you do a space after and then a color code it will actually put a space in between your name and the prefix which is how I like it you don't have to do that but I like it that way so the next thing we're going to want to do is add ourselves to that group so as I've said before man you add scope Kevin 25 YouTube and if I type hi my group is now YouTube YouTube currently has no permissions, so let's add some permissions to it. It's menu add P, group name, YouTube, and what permissions would we like to add to this group? Why don't we go with a little Essentials Group Manager to be able to change my game, I mean Essentials Game Mode to change my game mode. Oh, I typed it incorrectly. It's actually Mang Add. I put menu add. I Mang add, all right, and then we're also going to do fly. And uh, this is a fun little thing I never, I never explained it before in my group manager tutorials. If you do essentials dot uh, kick, essentials dot tp, essentials dot tpa, it'll add all four of those permissions at once. That's like, that's like one fourth the work of having to retype the command over and over again. It's amazing. So now I, if I de -op myself, I will have access to all of those permissions. I'm gonna wait to test that until the end though. So uh, to add yourself to a subgroup, it's man menu add sub. 
and then you do player and group. This will give you the permissions from that group and it'll add you partially to the group without completely replacing your stuff. You'll still have your, your main group, YouTube, but if I were to add myself to, say, a subgroup like Recruit, I would have Recruit's permissions. It's really neat. If you want to add a custom prefix to yourself, you can do it like so. Mang add V. Player. Prefix. And let's go with something fancy. Uh, at 9. At B. At L. Prince. At 9. And then at F. It's not. It's obviously not at. I just. I say it. It's not my fault. People always call me out about stuff like that. It's kind of funny. But here you go. Hello. And I will now have that custom prefix. Prince. Now, let's quickly test out those permissions. Now, if I do commands like slash fly and other commands like that that I added myself, gave myself permissions for, I will have access to those commands now. And I can go fly away like a bird. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions about Group Manager or 1.9, please let me know. And as always, have a wonderful day.